In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an extra level of security to your online accounts, including Gmail, Blockchain, and LastPass with YubiKey. I'm Louise Elizabeth, and welcome to Everybit Helps. I really hope you enjoy this video today, and if you do, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk where related blog posts are also available. With over 18 million login credentials being compromised every single day, securing your online accounts is essential. So if you're looking for an extra level of security to protect your personal accounts and data, YubiKey is a great way of securing the weak points in your security. This small yet powerful hardware device is like a physical key that instead of unlocking a door, unlocks your online life, verifying with human interaction that it's you who's actually trying to access your accounts. And I'll show you how you can connect up your YubiKey with your Gmail account, blockchain.com wallet, and LastPass password manager shortly. YubiKey was created by Yubico, a company based in Sweden and founded in 2007, with a mission to make secure login easy and available for everyone. The company's core invention, the YubiKey, is a small battery-free USB and NFC security key, securing access to a number of IT systems and online services. And YubiKeys are key-sized devices that you can plug into your computer's USB slot, mobile device port, or scan using NFC or near-field communications used for sharing data to provide an additional layer of security when accessing your online accounts. Yubico have a number of different types of YubiKeys, some are FIPS certified, come with dual connectors and lightning ports, and they also have a bio version coming soon, which will integrate fingerprint technology too. The YubiKey I'll be showing you today is the YubiKey 5 NFC, which can be purchased individually as a pack of 2, 10 or 50, which could be ideal for teams. The key itself is durable, waterproof and crush resistant and comes with a keyhole ring so that you don't lose them. Now, obviously, losing them is one of the biggest drawbacks of these type of devices. So it's recommended that you have more than one of these and keep the other one securely somewhere. Once you receive your YubiKey, you can go ahead and register them with well-known services that support U2F and Fido2, like Google Mail, Facebook, Instagram and Reddit, and cloud storage such as Dropbox. Plus, you can even set up your YubiKey with password managers such as the likes of Dashlane and LastPass 2. And if you need assistance, you can find quick guides here for all the different services too. So let's get started with Gmail. So this is my demo account, but at the moment when I log in, I just enter in my username or email address and my password. And if someone gets hold of this password, they will then have the gateway to all of my personal information such as my confidential emails and calendar invites too. With Google, you can set up text alerts with one-time codes, but hackers or bad guys can also intercept these and gain access. And a great way to secure your account is by holding the key to your account literally on you so that you have to be present to access that account. So let's go ahead and set up our YubiKey 5 NFC with Gmail. So if you click onto your profile in the top right hand corner of the screen and go to manage your Google account. And if you go across to security and down to two step verification, we can then go ahead and get started. You'll then be prompted to enter in your password and then click onto next. And it's then asking me how I'd like to receive my codes. Do I want to use text message or phone call? And as I said, there can be some security flaws around this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose another option. And I'm going to be using a security key, a small physical device used for signing in. And it's then asked me to make sure that my key is with me, but not connected in my device. Click on to next. And next up is asking me to insert my security key into my computer's USB port or connect it with a USB cable. Once it's connected, I need to tap the button or gold disc if your key has one, which mine obviously does. So I'm just going to go away and do that now. And 
And then it may come up with a security message, so I'm going to allow. And as you can see, my security key is now registered and it's asking me to put in a security key name. And I'm going to name this Ubico1. If I then click on to done. And as you can see here, that security key has now been set up. And you can also set up additional backup steps so that you can sign in even if your other options aren't available. Now you're probably going to want to use this in conjunction with Google backup codes too, just in case you lose your device and don't have a spare key. And you can set that up from here by clicking on to set up. And you'll then be provided with 10 different types of codes that you can use to sign back into your account. And you may want to print these off and keep them somewhere safe. Now what we'll do is log out of this account and we'll re-log in now that we have our YubiKey connected. So if I go to log in, enter in my password and click onto next, I'll be then asked to insert my security key and touch it, which I'm going to do now. And as you can see, that's all gone through fine and I'm all set to log into my account so I can click onto next. So that was pretty simple with your Gmail account. Then next, I'll show you how you can integrate with your blockchain.com wallet. So if you're holding Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies in a blockchain.com wallet, you'll want to ensure that that is kept secure. And you can use a YubiKey with blockchain. And I've got a full beginner's guide to blockchain, which I'll pop in the summary below. However, I'll just quickly show you how you can use this with YubiKey. So once you're logged into your blockchain.com wallet, if you head over to Security Center in the top right here, and enable two-step verification. You can see that you can use authenticator apps, YubiKeys, or SMS codes. And two-step verification helps to prevent unauthorized access to your wallet by requiring a one-time password for every login attempt. So we're gonna enable this to further secure our wallet. So if we click onto YubiKey, so as you can see here, it's asking me to insert the YubiKey into your computer's USB port and then I need to pair my YubiKey. The way that I do that is if I click into the box and press the yellow button, and you'll see a string of dots have then appeared on screen. And that my YubiKey has now verified. So if I log out of my account, and then if I go back to login, it's now asking me for my YubiKey. So to do that, I need to plug in my YubiKey, Click onto the YubiKey box here and press the yellow button. And now I'm securely logged in to my blockchain.com wallet. Then finally, let's take a look at combining with LastPass. For those of you who are not aware, LastPass is a great password manager, making passwords more secure and storing them in a vault so that you don't have to remember them. By connecting YubiKey, you can make LastPass even more secure making access and authentication seamless. And again, I've got a full tutorial for those that are interested in LastPass, but let's go ahead and assume you have an account you'd like to secure. So if we go across to our account settings at the bottom of the screen here on the left, and multi-factor options, you'll see here that you'll have a whole host of different multi-factor authentication options. However, if you have a premium account, you can actually integrate with Yubico. So I'm gonna click onto the little pencil icon on the right here, and I can enable. And as you can see, you can enter up to five different keys in here. And this is in case you're using a family subscription and each person has their own key, for example. So if I just click onto the I here, it states to associate a YubiKey with your account. Give focus to the input box and press your YubiKey. To disassociate a YubiKey with your account, clear the entire value of the input box. So what I'm gonna do now is associate this YubiKey. So if I click into the text field here, and then if I press onto the yellow button on my YubiKey, you'll see a value has now been placed into that input one section. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and you can update. You'll then be asked to re-enter your LastPass master password, and then click on to continue. And as it states here, once YubiKey authentication is enabled, 
log into your browsers to double encrypt all locally cached data. Then click onto OK. And I'm gonna go ahead and log in. And as you can see, it's now asking me to insert my YubiKey in the USB port with the USB contact facing upward. I've got to wait until my YubiKey touch button shines with a steady light. Then I need to hold my fingertip on the touch button for one second. So I've placed that in, I'm gonna press down, and that's automatically then filled in for me. And I've now entered my LastPass account. So that's just secured that even more. So as you can see, by using YubiKey, it's a nice and simple way of securing your online accounts. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.